Hey there, thank you for watching today's video. If you are new here, which I know so many of you are, as I went from just over 4,000 subscribers to well over 18,000 subscribers in the last few weeks. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Since so many of you are new here, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Sasha and my channel is all about budgeting, cash stuffing, and the occasional day in the life of my small business. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be cash stuffing my last and final paycheck of 2023. With this cash here, this represents the money that is left over after I have left money in my account to cover all of my bills. So today's cash stuffing is going to be a little bit different. I've only got a couple savings challenges that I'm going to be cash stuffing as I have completed my 100 envelope challenge, which is why so many of you are new here. So I just completed this. I did the live unstuffing on here and I also have shared that video. So be sure to check it out. So today's video, like I just mentioned, is going to be a little different. I'm cash stuffing my daily expense wallet couple of savings challenges, and I'm completing my 2023 savings challenge. Now, why I'm saying it's going to be a little bit different is because usually the majority of my cash goes towards savings challenges. But um, this pay period, I'm doing things a little differently because I'm, I mean, it's Christmas. So there's a lot more activities going on in my life. Um, I'm going to be eating out a lot more. I'm actually going to be away for a few days. So um, we are going to be putting higher amounts towards my fun, my eating out, um, and less money towards savings challenges. So without further ado, let's dive right in, do a cash count and see what I'm working with. All right, 1550, and I forgot to pull three coins, which I have set aside. Let me just grab them. All right, so I've got a loony and a toonie, which makes $3. And that is going to be going towards my savings challenge. I thought I was prepared for the video, apparently not. So I have 1553 to be cash stuffing today. So we are gonna start off with my variable expense binder. This is the envelopes that I use on the regular. So groceries will be getting its typical 150. This is enough for just myself, and that's for a two-week period. To be totally honest, I probably won't even use all of this, um, just because, like I mentioned, I'm going to be away a few days, and then there's dinner out at a lot of families' homes over the next couple of weeks. So um, we will see. If I don't use it, I'll just put it somewhere else next pay period. Okay, so dining out is getting a large sum of cash. Keep in mind, guys, I'm not going to be home for a few days, and literally every meal will be um, will be out. So it's getting 350. Um, and if I don't spend this all, that's, that's great. I will just put that towards something else when I reset my cash wallet next pay period. I would rather have too much than not enough because I mean, I've worked so hard the last year and a bit, um, almost year and a half. I've been so like tight with my budget, not tight in the sense that I was uncomfortable, but I've lived on a lean budget for the last year and a half, and I just want to have fun these next two weeks. So gas will be getting 80. And again, probably not driving as much. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, $80 seems to work for two weeks. We'll see if I need it all or not. Household currently has $20 in there. I am going to add another 20. So that brings it to 40. And then my fun envelope currently has $10. And that's just what was left over that I rolled over from last pay period. I'm adding $165 to here. So that brings me to $175. And you're probably like, I do plan on going shopping on Boxing Day. Let's be real. Um, so some of this money will go towards that. And I also finished my self-care savings challenge. I think it was last pay period. So I have $250 there. And I plan on spending it on some new items for myself, maybe some clothes. And I do have some gift cards too. So I plan on doing a good little shopping haul on Boxing Day. Maybe I'll share it here. So that is that. And then we are going to move on to my next binder here. 
So like I mentioned, self-care is done. There's 250 in there. My vacation, I am going on vacation in January. We have booked the tickets. This money is going towards my tickets now um, as my credit card statement is due in the next few days. So timed that well, because I only just booked my trip. Um, I'm gonna finish this challenge. On this challenge, I decided that each little emote or icon here, sorry, represents $45. So to complete the challenge, I need to put in, let's see here, 135. So one, 20, 35, and let's just see how much we have in here now. I will mention too, this isn't the only money that I have saved up for my vacation. Um, I saved up money. This money here is going towards my vacation. Whoops, that went flying. <laughs> and I also completed my five and $10 savings challenge, which was $700 there as well. So I think I'm pretty covered for vacay. So let's add this up. Get all the bills organized here. I can't organize, can't handle chaos. Okay, so this represents I've got a thousand dollars in the bank saved already, and then I've got 50, 1, 50, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 50. So I've got 13, 50 here. Yay. Christmas, um, that challenge is complete. I think I just have like one more thing I need to buy. Um, and then whatever's money is left in here, I'll take the change and I will add it to my nickel savings challenge and the bills will go towards just my gifting envelope so that I have more money in there for gifts throughout the year. And like I mentioned, I've already completed the five and $10 challenge and I will restart that in the new year. And my nickel savings challenge, I have just restarted it, so. That's where that's at. I'm also gonna make a video and share it pretty quick here, um, just showing you what savings challenges I plan on starting in the new year. So um, my dog Hank recently passed away. It's been actually four weeks to the day, or four, yeah. Um, so I decided to carry on buying dog food um, and just have it in my home because my parents' dog Ford, who was Hank's best buddy, um, lives right next door and comes over daily and has always enjoyed having a little nibble on Hank's food. So I'm continuing on with an envelope for the dogs. So uh, I'm going to have $30 in here because I am needing to buy a big a food and I used to buy Hank really good stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to keep buying that for Ford. I'm probably just going to get um, smaller bags because it has to be eaten within like six weeks of opening it. So I don't want it to spoil or anything. Um, and it is really just a little treat for Ford, so. Okay, my bedroom overhaul I am not adding to. Let's just do a quick count here. I was able to buy a new bed, a new mattress, one new side table, I need to buy another one, um, a wardrobe. So right now I'm looking to buy a um, dresser. So that's what this money is going to be going towards as I want to get a new one. The one I have, I've had a really long time and it's just it's worn it doesn't match the aesthetic of my room anymore and it's yeah it's time <laughs> gifts i will be adding 20 dollars to this envelope just covers any gifts i need to buy for family members over the year and i just like to add to it every pay period so i've got 150 in there and like i mentioned the any money any bills left over in my christmas envelope when i'm done shopping um will be going towards that envelope Costco, I am actually adding to today because while I'm away, I will be near a Costco and I plan on going and just checking it out. So I've got a hundred dollars there. Clothing, I'm adding 50. I've got a hundred. Like I mentioned, I plan on going shopping. So I've got the 250 from my self-care savings challenge and 150 here. So I've got $400 to burn on clothes and I'm really excited. I want to get a few things before I go away to LA. So, all right, beauty, I'm adding 20, 70. My emergency fund, I'm adding a lot to this today because I just want to get it topped up. So with the savings challenge that I have here, each little icon represents a different dollar figure. So it ranges from 15 to $50. When it's done, I'll have a thousand. 
So we're going to be adding $400 to this today. Okay. So we're doing these. And two of these. So that adds up to 400. So 10, 12 more symbols on here. And I'm going to have the full amount saved. Now, I realize $1,000 is an amazing start on my emergency fund, but I will be continuing to add to this until I probably get about like three months worth of expenses. And I'm going to be keeping all this money in my high interest savings account so that I can easily access it. Um, let's just double check them out here, make sure that I have what I should. So let's see here. 150. So I should have $800 in here looking at this. 253. 800. Perfect. Now I don't want to have this much cash on hand. So I'm actually going to be taking out 500 which you're probably wondering, this kind of defeats the purpose, like why did I add 400 to remove five? But this is just how my brain works. So three, four, five. This is gonna go to the bank. It's gonna immediately go into my high interest savings account and I'm gonna put a place card holder in here to represent that that money is now in the bank. Five hundred. Just going to make a little note what this $500 is in my envelope here. So 500 or merge. And then when it's in my bank account, you can actually like change the names of your account. So I just put like a little note like 500 E and I'll know it's like 500 for emergency because it all just goes into one, one account. So that is that. Move it on. My medical, I will be putting money in here. I'm gonna be putting 40. I'm very fortunate, majority of my medical expenses in Canada are covered. Um, I have had a couple surgeries in the past year. It was all covered with the exception of a little bit on one of the surgeries and thankfully had money saved for it. So, okay, what am I at here? $120. So this money really just goes towards buying like Advil, Band-Aids, cold meds, things that I need for the home. Um, I'm fortunate I don't have any prescriptions or anything like that because that would be coming out of pocket then. So yeah, that is that. And now all we are left with here is cash stuffing, my last savings challenge of the year that needs to be completed. And that is my 2023 savings challenge. So this is it here. So with this challenge there are 52 envelopes with the premise being you complete one envelope every single week over the course of the year each one is worth a different dollar value and when i am done i'm going to have 2023 dollars saved so because i'm paid bi-weekly which means i'm paid every other week i do fill two envelopes each pay period so we're going to be filling 23 and 25 and I just got to say, like, this year went by so fast and doing this challenge honestly made it feel like it was going by that much faster. It was kind of scary. But here we are. We've got 25. Now, I am going to be unstuffing this video and filming it. So stay tuned. I will share that on here, obviously. So we've got 25 and 23. Whew. Wonder where I went wrong. We got an extra five. Anyways, 23. Let me just look at my budget here. Oh, that five was meant to go into my fun envelope. Oh, shucks. Okay, we'll add it there. Yay, we've done this challenge and this is going towards my vacation. So if you are interested in getting your hands on this challenge, I have a new style for 2024 and it is in my shop, which is linked on my page. So be sure to check it out. Set that aside and let's just put this silly little five. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. This was supposed to go in here too, 23. There we go, now it's officially done. You can't tell I really haven't had my coffee yet this morning. Okay, 
fun. Yay, a little bit more money in there. This envelope just gets spent on whatever I want that isn't covered in these other envelopes. So yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do because it means so, so much to me and I appreciate it like you don't even know. Anyways, thank you all. Have a great day. Bye.